Can you put real analog pedals in the front or the back of a quad cortex? I have no idea, but we're going to find out. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ram, a guitar player here on YouTube and hold on, my hands hurt. <laughs> hold on. <sighs> That was a cool little thumbnail though. Please like this video for that thumbnail, you know, now that I have carpal tunnel and, you know, <laughs> some other physical problems. But anyway, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, but anyway, man, I'm not going to waste too much time. You guys know what this video is all about. Basically, I did an initial video with the Quad Cortex. You guys seem to love that content. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. I really appreciate it. Um, but a common question I got from the comment section and on Instagram was like, hey, how well does this thing handle? real pedals can i use my real pedals in or around the quad cortex and honestly guys i have no idea that's right i haven't even tried it yet i want to do this as like a real time real world you know kind of reaction of of you know me figuring this out with you guys because i think it'll be fun you know what i mean i think i think the quad cortex has got a lot of content already and um, it can get stale so i think i just have some fun and uh, contrary to what everybody says, we're allowed to have fun here on the internet, right? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a Fortin 33 and a Fortin hex drive in front of the quad cortex, in front of the input. And then after that, I'll try out some delays and some delay reverb, all right? I'll try out the uh, Poontang Boomerang by Steel Panther. That'll be um, after the quad cortex, before my interface, before the line out, if you will. And then I'll use a Keeley uh, Caverns V2 as well. So uh, yeah, man, I'm just going to set up, reconfigure my whole setup here, and uh, we'll just figure this out in real time together, okay? Let's get into all that right now. All right, everybody, so we have the quad cortex here in front of us, and basically, uh, my rig on the quad cortex is just an amp, a cab, and an EQ. No overdrive, no delay, no nothing. Just a gate, amp, cab, EQ, all right? And so basically, I have a PV505 lead, just in case anybody's wondering, but that's my amp, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right into a Fortin 33 into the quad cortex, and so now this will be boosting the entire quad cortex, and I'll be curious to see how it sounds, man. It should be wild. So um, let's just try it out, man. Let's go with the Fortin 33 first, see what happens. Yo, <laughs> that was so sick, man. Oh man, I played really well, which is a surprise. Uh, but also too, the sound and the tone was just, oh man, it was so sick. So Fortin 33 boosting a quad cortex. Uh, uh, yeah, hell yeah, that sounded pretty sick, man. Let's uh, let's try the hex drive. All right, so now the hex drive is a um, an overdrive. It's not a boost pedal. Uh, let's just see how that sounds. This ought to be equally as cool. Thank you. 
Equally as cool. I like the 33 better than the hex drive. Um, not only for the quad cortex, but in real life. But regardless, man, the quad cortex so far handles pedals very, very well. I'm gonna try two delays real quick. I'm gonna try a Poontang Boomerang by Steel Panther and a Keeley Caverns V2. I'm gonna put them in the back of the quad cortex. So give me one second. Cool, so now we have the Quad Cortex up and running again, and I have the Poontang Boomerang in between the Quad Cortex and my interface. So let's we'll just see what happens when I turn on the delay. <laughs> it works! Steel Panther works. Let's try one more of the Keeley Caverns V2. So all in all, everybody, can the Quad Cortex handle real pedals? In my opinion, absolutely. 10 out of 10. Yes, 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 man. I thought this video was um, just a great way to answer that question. And the pedals did great with the Quad Cortex and vice versa, man. It sounded like they belonged and that they meshed well. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised with my uh, my findings. So ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. If you're brand new to my channel, you want to consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Hope you had fun hanging out with me and listening to me riff and just just have fun, you know what I mean? So anyway, I'm out of here. A huge shout out to all my patrons and everybody who supports me. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. I'll see you guys next time. Later.